Good morning, praying parents. May the Lord bless you this morning and continue to keep you in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah, Jesus. Your children are continually for signs and wonders. No matter what the enemy says, your children are continually for signs and wonders in the name of Jesus Christ. You know what the Lord said to me this morning, praying parents, is that he has elevated you. The Lord said he has elevated you. You are promoted. I'm not, and I'm not just giving you good words. I'm telling you exactly what he put on my spirit. Receive it. Because that is who you are, praying parents. God has lifted you higher. You have been praying and praying and praying and standing. And the Lord says, I hear your voice. I see your faithfulness. I see your diligence. I see your perseverance. You are enduring. He says, I have elevated you. I have promoted you. And your path will be like the shining sun that shines ever brighter onto the perfect day. You are shining, praying parents. You are shining and the enemy is darker. You can't even begin to acknowledge him right now. Just ignore anything that he's doing. Ignore him. He hates it. Ignore him and focus on your father. You are sat with Jesus Christ in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. You are a royal priesthood. Yes, I'm speaking to you, praying parents, this morning. I'm speaking to you because God is so proud of you. He's so proud of you because many times the Lord will tell people, stand, stand therefore. After you know all that you know to do, they will not stand. They will complain. They will moan. But you have been standing. The Lord says, I have elevated you. You will see the fruits of your labor. You will eat from the fruits of your labor, your labor. You will see the reward of God in the name of Jesus. And so, Father, I thank you this morning. I'm thanking God for your children, your family this morning in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And the prayer that I pray for your children is in Ephesians chapter 1, 17 and 18. I pray that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory may give to you your children the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him in the name of Jesus I pray wisdom over your children yes Lord hallelujah I pray the wisdom of God upon your children right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that they will grow Yes, Lord, they will grow more and more in the knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, yes, Lord, we need wisdom to live in this world. Yes, we need wisdom to live as Christians. Your children need wisdom to live in this world, the wisdom of God, the wisdom to live as Christians in a dark world. Oh, yes, Lord, I pray that the Lord will impart wisdom unto them in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Remember that God says he will do a new thing. God will give them wisdom and new, afresh in the name of Jesus. He will reveal himself to them anew, afresh. Your children, the, the scales in their eyes are already falling off, off in the name of Jesus. They have fallen off in the name of Jesus. They will know who God is. Your children will know who God is. They will know what his plans are in the mighty name of Jesus. Therefore, they need revelation. They need to know what the spirit is doing in this hour. They need to know it. Yes, because the spirit of the, the spirit of God is the spirit who will reveal, the Holy Spirit will reveal God and his purposes to your children. I want you to say, Father, thank you that your Holy Spirit will reveal you and your purposes to my children in the name 
name of Jesus, reveal God and his purposes to my children. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, reveal, yes, oh Lord, let your Holy Spirit reveal God and his purposes in the name of Jesus to my children. That is how you will pray it. That is how you will say it. Oh Lord, reveal, let your Holy Spirit reveal God and his purposes to my children so that they can understand God, so that they can understand what to do and act appropriately. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, yes Lord, let your Holy Spirit reveal God and his purposes unto my children. I pray this prayer over your children in the name of Jesus. La baraba kashike tala baba baba la baraba kashike tala baba la baraba kashike tala baba la baraba kashike tala baba la baraba dala baka ya kala baba e la baraba zendara baba baba le bere baka soko tolo baba le baraba gazike tala baba la baraba gazike tala baba yes lord mazema kale baba reveal yourself reveal yourself reveal yourself anew reveal yourself afresh the lord will reveal himself anew afresh to your children in the name of Jesus, he will bring about his glorious purposes in his son Jesus Christ unto your children. In the name of Jesus, the Holy Spirit will enable your children to know God more and more, to know Jesus more and more. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus, the glorious God will reveal his glory to your children. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Say, Father, thank you for the wisdom that you have imparted unto my children. Thank you for your spirit of wisdom. Thank you for your spirit of revelation. Revelation in the knowledge of you that you have imparted unto my children. Oh yes, Father God, thank you. Father God, thank you. Thank you, Father God. Father, we give you praise. Oh, we give you glory. We magnify your holy name. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. The Bible says in Ephesians chapter 1, 18, that the eyes of your understanding being enlightened, that you may know what is the hope of his calling, what are the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints. I want us to pray right now and say, Father, let my children know the hope of your calling. What, what is on your heart? What are, what are we hoping for? What, what are we hoping that God will do in your children? What are you hoping for? That is, that is what we're saying right now, that the Lord will reveal, open the eyes of their understanding so that they will know the hope of God's calling in the mighty name of Jesus. Say, Father, let my children know the hope of your calling. Let them know the hope of your calling in the name of Jesus. I pray for your children that they will know the hope of God's calling. You know, they were not just born by accident. They were born for a reason, a divine purpose, a divine assignment, a divine calling, and they will fulfill that hope in the name of Jesus. They will fulfill the purposes of God in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, Father, we give you praise. We give you glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen and amen. I want us to pray the next prayer. Yes, Lord, that the eyes of their understanding will be enlightened. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the eyes of their understanding will be enlightened. I'm praying that God will open the eyes. Yes, the eyes of your children's hearts. The, the eyes of their hearts to be enlightened, to be enlightened. When God brings light to your eyes, you will know who he is and what he's done for you. You will see the revelation of the Holy Spirit right there. So I pray today in the mighty name of Jesus that your, the eyes of your children's hearts will be enlightened by the spirit of the living God. In the name of Jesus, I pray today in the name of Jesus that the eyes of your children's hearts will be enlightened 
mind. Let the heart of the, let the eyes of their hearts be enlightened, oh God. Say, Father, let the eyes of my children's hearts be enlightened, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Let the eyes of my children's hearts be enlightened in the name of Jesus. If there be any darkness, let it leave right now. We cast out any darkness in the name of Jesus in your children's hearts in our children's hearts we drive it out by the power that is in the name of Jesus let every darkness of heart go right now in the name of Jesus be cast out in the name of Jesus every darkness of heart out 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 in the name of Jesus. When their hearts are darkened, that is why they misbehaved. That is why they misbehaved because they don't have a revelation of the purposes of God in their lives. They don't even know anything. So when we pray this prayer, it's a very powerful prayer to pray that the eyes of our children's hearts will be enlightened by the spirit of the living God. When God brings that light to their eyes, they will know who he is, what he's done, what the purposes of God are in their lives. Hallelujah. And the Spirit will reveal God's plans to them in Jesus' mighty name. So I want us to begin to thank God right now and say, Father, thank you for enlightening the hearts of my children. Thank you for enlightening the hearts of my children by the power of your word in the name of Jesus. I pray this prayer over your children in Jesus' mighty name. Let your spirit keep showing us children who God is. Yes, your Lord, let your spirit keep showing our children who God is. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, in the mighty name of of Jesus Christ. The next prayer that I want to pray, you know, God, uh, Paul the Apostle, he was talking about, you know, his calling, the hope of his calling, that they may know the hope of his calling in Ephesians chapter 1, 18. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, Father, let them know the hope of your calling. You see, the thing is that God has called your children, but they need to know. They need to know that calling. They need to know that hope of their calling in the mighty name of Jesus. It's the identity in Christ. Oh, hallelujah. Yes, Lord. They will know their identity in Christ. Hallelujah. They will know that they're forgiven. They are adopted children of God through Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. They will know that they're God's holy people. They will know that they're loved and valued by God. Your children are loved and valued by God. They're God's very own people possession in the name of Jesus. Let them know the hope of their calling, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. This calling is not just a calling of a role, not playing, you know, just one role here, one role there. But when they know who they are, when they know that they're God's very own possession, nothing will move them in the name of Jesus. But they will stand assured, confident that yes, this calling, I have hope in this calling. I am God's son. I'm God's daughter. I am loved and valued by God. I'm God's very own possession. Hallelujah. No matter what they go through, they will not be moved in Jesus' name. I want you to pray and say, Father, thank you that my children will know the hope of their calling. They will know the hope of their calling. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. They will know the hope of their calling in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The hope of God is rich and it's glorious. The hope of God is rich and it's glorious. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We thank God. Oh, yes, Lord, that your children are sat in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord. Father, we thank you. We magnify your holy name. I thank God for your children. I thank God for their heritage in Christ. Oh, 
Oh, yes. They've got an inheritance in Christ. Yes, Lord. Thank you for their inheritance in Christ. La barama shakata la baba. Makaraba kasakata la baba. La baraba kashakata la baba. La baraba kaseketa la baba. La baraba kayakala baka seketa la baba. Yes, Lord. Mazama kaleba kasakata la baba. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Mazaba zeba 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 raba kashakata la baba. I pray that they will be ever praying. They will be ever serving God. They will be ever worshiping God. They will be ever growing in the depth of insight into God. In the mighty name of Jesus, they will ever be growing into hope in Christ. In the name of Jesus, they will be ever growing in the light. The, 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 the light, the Lord enlightens their hearts. In the name of Jesus. Baraba kashike talababa. Araba gazike talababa. Le baraba gazike talababa. Le baraba baba baba. Araba kaye kalaba kaya kalaba. Le baraba zondoro baba baba. Le baraba gaya kalaba. The Lord will give them the intellect of heaven. In the name of Jesus. Baze baraba kashaka. La baraba kase katalaba. Hallelujah, Jesus. Baraba kashike talababa. He will enlighten their hearts in the name of Jesus. Barima kaya kalaba kase katalaba. The eyes of their understanding, the eyes of your children's understanding is being enlightened even right now. The Lord is giving his light. He's shining on their minds, on their intellect, to give them understanding in the name of Jesus. They have wisdom. They have revelation. They have knowledge. They have understanding. They have wisdom. Your children have wisdom. They have revelation. They have knowledge. They have understanding. I want you to confess that word throughout this week in the name of Jesus, based on Ephesians chapter 1, yes, verses 17 and 18. Yes, Lord, the Lord has imparted unto my children. That is how you will speak it, confess it. The Lord has imparted unto my children the spirit of wisdom, revelation, knowledge, and understanding. In the name of Jesus, the spirit of wisdom, revelation, knowledge, and understanding. In the name of Jesus, yes, Lord, hallelujah. Rabaka seketa la baba, la barabaka sheketa la baba, rabarabarabaka shakata la baba. Yes, Lord, I write this on an index card. The Lord has imparted unto my children. He has given my children the spirit of wisdom, revelation, knowledge, and understanding. Yes, Lord, the 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 the, the, the hearts are enlightened in the mighty name of Jesus. Ale barimaka yakala makasaka la baraba sotoro baba. Your children are blessed. They are blessed with every spiritual blessing in heavenly places. I plead the blood of Jesus over their weak. Right now, in the mighty name of Jesus, I plead the blood of Jesus over their weak, over your weak, in the name of Jesus. Marabaka saka tala makaya kala makaseke tala baba marabaka kala makaseke la barabaka saka tala baba baba le brama sanda baba i pray over the week of your children right now that they will not stumble in the name of jesus they will not make mistakes in the name of jesus the enemy will not outwit them in the name of jesus they will not fall into the trap of the enemy in the name of jesus oh yes the lord makes their path clearer and clearer they are shining brighter and brighter their weak shines in jesus name. They will find favor. Favor on the left, favor on the right, favor from the west, the east, the south, and the north. North. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The Lord will bring them into the land which he swore to your fathers. In the mighty name of Jesus, according to Deuteronomy 6, 10 to 11, so it shall be when the Lord your God brings your children into the land, brings you and your children into the land which he swore to your fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob to give you large and beautiful cities which you did not build, which your children did not build, to give you houses full of all good things which you did not fill, which your children did not fill, to give you horn out wells which you did not dig, which your children did not dig, to give you vineyards and olive trees which you did not plant, which your children did not plant. Oh yes, in the name of Jesus, this is your inheritance, this is your blessing 
healing. I pray it over you. I pray it over your children, your family, in the name of Jesus. That the Lord will bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we give you praise. We give you glory. We magnify your holy name. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus over you. I plead the blood of Jesus over your children. I plead the blood of Jesus over your family. In the name of Jesus Christ, the light of God shines and shines brighter and brighter in your home, in your situation, in your marriage, in your job, in your children's lives, in their schools, in their education, in their work, in their marriages, in your grandchildren. They are blessed in the name of Jesus as the mountain surround Jerusalem so the Lord surrounds you and your family forever. I plead the blood of Jesus over your family. In the name of Jesus whatever the enemy has planned against you, as assigned against you, it shall not come to pass. We negate it. We bind it. We forbid it. We cast it out right now. We cast it out right now. I cast it out. No weapon fashioned against you or your household shall prosper. No no weapon fashioned against you or your household shall prosper. No weapon fashioned against you or your household shall prosper. In the name of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus over your children, over your weak, over your weak, over your children's weak, over their going out, over their coming in. You will hear good news in the name of Jesus concerning your children. You will hear good Good news. You will hear good news in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you praise. Oh, we give you glory. We magnify your holy name. You are wonderful. Hallelujah. We praise your name for you have done wonderful things. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord, the Bible says in Isaiah 25, 3, uh, strong people will glorify you. Hallelujah. Uh, we glorify God right now. Yes, Lord, the Bible says for you have been a strength to the poor, a strength to the needy in his distress, a refuge from the storm, a shade from the heat. Oh, yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord, Mazema Kalimaka Saka Talababa. Yes, Lord, Mazaba Kalibaka Yakalababa Baba Baba. Father, we give you glory. Oh, we magnify your name. I want you to give God praise right now. We have a strong city. We have a strong city. His name is Jesus. Hallelujah. His name is Jesus. We have a strong city. The Bible says the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous will run into him and they are saved. You are safe in these very lost times. You are safe. Your children are safe in the name of Jesus. And you're going out, you're coming in. And whatever your children lay their hands upon, wherever they are, they are safe in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Masaka Talababa. The Bible says in Isaiah 26, 3, you will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you. Because he trusts in you. Trust in the Lord forever. For in Yah, the Lord is everlasting strength. Praise the Lord. That's the word I'm going to leave with you. Isaiah 26 verses 3 and 4. You will keep him in perfect peace. The Lord will keep you, your children, your home, your family in perfect peace. Whose mind is stayed on you? There's a condition there. Stay your mind on the Lord. Don't be distracted. Stay your mind on the Lord. Don't be distracted in the name of Jesus. Because he trusts in you. Put your trust in God. Trust in the Lord. Verse 4. Trust in the Lord forever. Praying parents. For in Yah, the Lord. The Lord is everlasting strength. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I just really feel very strongly. That God has done a glorious, marvelous thing for you and your children, for you and your family. And you've got to hold on to it. 
You see, you've got to hold on to it. Don't let go of it because of the wind of adversity. Don't let go of it because something happened today that you were not expecting. Don't let go of it because you can't see it yet, but it is already released from heaven. I want you to put on your eyes of faith and remove your eyes from the things of this world and see into the realm of the spirit. You look beyond the now into what God has done and you will see that what God has has done is actually fantastic. It's marvelous in our eyes. And the world will say of you, the nations will say of you and your family, the Lord has done great things. Marvelous things. Yes, marvelous things. Marvelous, glorious things. Hallelujah. You will begin to see things unravel, unfold before your eyes. You know, the family that has been disjointed for so long, not talking to each other, fighting, you will see yourselves coming back together. You will see restoration. You will see a new beginning because God is saying that he's doing something new, something new. So the old things have passed away. Praise the Lord. You will see your children renewed, refreshed. A sister gave a testimony of her son that she hadn't seen for four years. For four years. And God just brought restoration. When she shared it yesterday, I was so touched. She said, I did not see my son for four years. And God brought him back by the power of prayer and worship. She said, when I see a homeless person out there, she said, I see my son. When you see people homeless or in trouble, don't look down on them because you don't know their story. You don't know their story. You don't know which homes they've come from. There is a lawyer out there. He's homeless because of adversity. His father died. His mother died. His brother died. And because of the weight of, of, of discouragement and disappointment and hopelessness, he lost it. And he became psychotic. We need to pray for people like that and not look down on them. Let us remember them in our prayers. Let us begin to thank God for our children. Let us thank him and be grateful that they have a roof over their heads. They have food on their table. God has not finished with them yet. He's doing a new thing in the name of Jesus. Be blessed. Keep moving forward. You've been promoted. You've been elevated by God. God says your prayers have become an altar. They become, they, they become a memorial before him. Praise the Lord. So your prayers are not in vain. Keep growing, man and woman of God. God loves you dearly. He favors you more than you can ever imagine. His banner over you, yes, praying parents, is love. Keep loving him. He loves you more than you can ever, ever, ever imagine. God bless you. God keep you. And God continue to shine his face upon you and give you everlasting peace. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Praying parents, this is the song of the week that the Lord has given me. I've been playing it over and over again. It's titled, See What the Lord Has Done by Nathaniel Bassey. This is his new release. I want you to use it as your worship every day, every day. See what the Lord has done. God has done marvelous things and we see it and we worship him in Jesus' name. I pray that this song blesses you in Jesus' name. Amen.
Praise the Lord, praying parents. See what the Lord has done. Just wait for it. It will come to pass in Jesus' name. Amen. Your children, your family, you're all for signs and wonders. God's eye is on each and every one of you. In Jesus' name. Amen. He is faithful and he will bring it to pass. Don't lose hope. Don't lose hope. He's already in the midst of you and he's a mighty God. Praise God. God bless you. And God continue to keep your household together in Jesus' name. We'll meet online tonight by the grace of Almighty God. We'll continue with our Daniel fast. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. It's going very well for us in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God richly bless you. If you need to contact me via email, our email address is ukprayingparents at gmail.com. God richly bless you and continue to keep you in Jesus' name. Amen. Good morning. It's Pastor Laddie. God bless you.